Monday has arrived and football season is back on the menu. Today, we're bringing back our slow cooker and making a high protein meatloaf that takes just a few minutes to prep. So let's jump right into it. Here's the part where I tell you to vote on what you want to see next week. But instead of that this week, I want you to drop what two teams you think are going to be in the Super Bowl this year. You get it right, you're going to get some protein and a shaker. Start this one with a large mixing bowl. Add into it three pounds of lean ground beef or turkey, two large whole eggs, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one and a half cups of your choice breadcrumbs, one cup of a lower sodium beef broth, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. For my vegetables and texture, I like to add in some chopped up red onion and green pepper. If you want more other vegetables, add those. The choice is yours. Also, drop a comment below with what you're going to use, and I'll add some other variations to the website. You can easily switch this one up with different seasonings, spices, herbs, and so on. Think outside the box. From here, mix everything together with a utensil or get right into it with your hands. After mixing, do your best to shape it to the size of your slow cooker. Next, take out your slow cooker, optionally line it with some aluminum foil or a bag liner for easy cleanup, and drop your mix in. Press it down flat to shape it. For a quick meatloaf glaze, add into a bowl one cup of a low sugar ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one to two tablespoons of a brown sugar substitute if you want some sweetness to it. Mix those together. Evenly distribute half of that glaze over the top of your meatloaf. Cover it and let it cook on low heat for around six to seven hours or high heat for three to four. 20 minutes prior to being done, add in the other half of your glaze and top it with some parsley. servings is what I usually do with this one. You can see that breakdown here or the entire breakdown on the proteinchef.co which is always linked below. Speaking of servings, the winner for last week's closest to giveaway, bang, you've got a shaker or shirt with your name on it. For this week's testing your guesstimating, we're doing this. Drop a comment below what you think it weighs in its entirety and as always the closest one to that number wins. One guest per person. I'll announce this winner in the next slow cooker recipe. With that said, don't forget to check out theproteinchef.co for all your healthy recipe needs, including both US and metric conversions for every recipe, scaling and so on. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this meal prep and want more like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're seriously this close now to 400,000. And of course, stay healthy.